All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Well, how about the age discrepancy here more than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 198 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, the gentleman. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. chance this fight actually goes to the ground. This fight does not go to the ground. This one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Working on another submission attempt here. Nicely done. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Oh! He's hurt. So he's up. Go get him. Not really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting the looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big knee! Oh, nice 
job to block the kick. Now goes in and secures the takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big kick land. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. He changes the angle, finds the right spot. And potentially a critical takedown here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? here just beautiful movement seamless transitions on him. over and over these guys are doing things quick level change oh, he scene. went single no outside the oh. oh, it from behind what a fantastic takedown oh and he escapes up to his feet very nice 10 seconds to go oh big head kick there All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> oh! Jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh, big knee! <laughs> Lot of top pressure. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transfer. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trip to secure the takedown. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. And now he's got the tie clinch. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big ball for West Land. Now he gets back. Nice take down there. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands the ground and pound strike. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. 
Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. And that's the end of round number two. should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout.
over.
over. 